I live on the East Coast, so a lot of my friends are friends with this band. I've heard that they're lovely gentlemen, but I gotta say, this album is fucking annoying. <laughs> All right, what's up, Mint Cannolis? Welcome to another episode of Gorsenio's High School CD Booklet Review, a show where I review all the albums that I bought in high school and assassinate my credibility in the metal world. And that credibility is getting full-on JFK'd because today we're talking about taking back Sundays where you want to be. Well, we're finally doing it. We're talking about everyone in my generation's second favorite band, Taking Back Sunday. There's a lot I want to talk about with Taking Back Sunday, but not really with this album. I have a long history with this band. Taking Back Sunday was the first band I remember pretending to like because girls I liked liked them and the cool kids liked them. And then one day in my freshman year of high school, I genuinely got into them. They broke through. But that wasn't this album. It was the one before this one with Cute Without the E and Werewolves Are From New Jersey or whatever. I live on the East Coast, so a lot of my friends are friends with this band. I've heard that they're lovely gentlemen. But I gotta say, this album is fucking annoying. <laughs> I feel bad saying that because this band has been good to the New York comedy scene. Fred, the second guitar player and second singer on this album, he's a really nice guy. But this album feels like throwing shit at the wall, but in a bad way. Like throwing actual doo-doo at the wall. Every track is trying to have a memorable diminished chord intro and a chorus that will hopefully be the next cute without the E, or at least someone's aim away message. Also, what the fuck was with emo bands writing these choruses that sounded like Humphrey Bogart yelling at 2004 high school girls? Mad to hell with you and all your friends, Rebecca. And if you see Lindsay, you tell her I want my cigars and diet pills back when she's done with field hockey practice. Anyway, let's talk about this album art that looks like Rush for pedophiles. This looks like a where are they now of the Coppertone baby. This looks like an ad for Subway restaurants. Y'all remember? That was fucked up. This looks like one of those photos that your mom thinks is cute, so she texts it to you, and now you're under investigation by the FBI. This looks like me. So yeah, to sum up, I don't like this. It's not bad, it just sounds like they're trying to capture lightning in a bottle a second time, and it turned them into spicy nugs. Also, Adam, their main singer, sounds like he's having a really hard time doing the squeaky high voice on this album. Just so we're all clear, no one's actual singing voice sounds like this. This is a choice. And that choice on this album sounds like it hurts. But yeah, that does it for this week's episode. If you want to let me know what you thought of the album or who your favorite band over Taking Back Sunday was, there's the comment section. Next time we're doing From Autumn to Ashes. What? It's two minutes to late night.